What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a commentary in GTA 5 Online, talking to you guys about some recent issues going on in the game, being rare clothing items and outfits getting removed from players' wardrobes. So guys, be sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe so you guys never miss a future GTA 5 video uploaded here on my channel. And while you guys are at it, let me know how the quality of my voice is, as a lot of you guys were commenting on my previous videos telling me that my mic quality was super bad, so because of that, I took it upon myself to get a brand new microphone, so let me know down in the comment section below how my voice is, and with that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, like I said in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some rare clothing items and outfits getting removed from GTA 5 Online. Now as most of you know, over the past couple of weeks, there have been multiple glitches that allowed players to get the police outfit, the trash master outfit, the duffel bag, and a couple of other items in the free roam sessions of GTA 5 Online. Now these items are not normally accessible in the free roam session of GTA 5 Online as they are only exclusive to certain heist missions and jobs in the game. However, like I said, there have been some glitches that would allow players to get the trash master outfit, the police outfit, the duffel bag, and a couple of other items in the GTA 5 Online free roam and wear them at a later time and save them as an outfit. Now doing this would make their characters look extremely unique and a lot of people would wonder how they got these outfits onto their characters. Now because these items are not supposed to be in GTA 5 Online outside of the exclusive missions in the game, Rockstar has took it upon themselves over the past couple of days to go about removing these items from GTA 5 Online. Now the thing that really sucks about Rockstar doing this is that these clothing items on these players are not affecting anyone in the game. So what, your character looks more unique and more cool than other players in GTA 5 Online, however as opposed to a god mode glitch or a wall breach glitch, this glitch is not affecting anyone so I don't see why Rockstar would actually take the time to remove these clothing items from GTA 5 Online. Now it's understandable that these items are not supposed to be worn in the online sessions, however I think that it's kind of silly that they're only exclusive to these certain jobs and certain heist missions in the game, and I think that because they're already in GTA 5 Online in the heist missions, it shouldn't make any difference if players were able to wear them in the free roam sessions. Now personally, I never actually did the glitch to get the police uniform on my character as I was hoping that in a future patch update, not even a DLC, but just a future update, Rockstar would actually incorporate it to be able to be purchased in GTA 5 Online. However, as of right now, it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to do so because they've took it upon themselves to remove these items from players' inventory in the game. Now overall, I think that it's a little ridiculous that Rockstar is spending time and effort to go about removing these rare items and outfits from players' inventories in GTA 5 Online as they are already in the game. Yes, it's understandable that Rockstar would like to keep these items exclusive to specific missions, however, like I said earlier, these glitches that allow you guys to get these rare items and outfits are not affecting anyone in the game. Now with that being said, I definitely think that Rockstar should devote more time and energy to patching more game breaking glitches as opposed to these glitches that allow players to make their character look very unique by acquiring rare clothing items. But guys, that's my opinion on it, let me know your thoughts about this topic down in the comment section below as I'm extremely curious as to what you all think. Other than that guys, that's all I do have in today's GTA 5 Online informational video, I hope you did enjoy it and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more awesome GTA 5 content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, and until next time guys, this has been Squifters, I'm out, peace.